Good evening. I have a 21 year old son and my nine year old son. So Nick is my son. We're gonna open this chant up. We're gonna get this thing started. But this chant is for the ones that are in law enforcement who claim to be good, but know the partners on the left and they right are crooked. This chant is for the judges that claim to be fair, but know that their partners on the left, on the right, are crooked. All my soldiers repeat out to me. Indict. Indict. Convict. Convict. Send these crooked cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict. Convict. Send these crooked cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. They said no cussing before I came up here. But I'm going to tell you right now, the spirit of this family, man, they tired of it. Let me just say this. Violation of probation is not a death sentence. Let me just say this. Violation of probation is not a death sentence. Let me say this. When apprehending suspects that have crashed a vehicle and are at a standstill, that is not a death sentence. Let me say it again. If the vehicle is completely stopped, no one is in danger. That's not a death sentence. Matter of fact, being black and young in America is not a death sentence. You might ask me, Brother Coleman, how do you know that the car came to a complete stop? Because ironically, the morning after Nicholas was killed, I was contacted by an eyewitness. Matter of fact, the eyewitness. A credible sister. I say it again, a credible sister. You can try to dissect all you want. Clear as clear can be, the officers at the time of the shooting were not in any danger. So what was it? Were they amped up? Were they pumped up? Was it time to shoot them another nigga? Is that what it was? Oh man, listen, quit sugarcoating it. Tell it like it is. You know what? Since I only got a little bit of time on this mic, let me send a message out here. So I work with all kinds of families, right? There was a German flight that went down the other day. Did anybody see that? There was a German flight that went down by the hands of one unstable individual. One unstable individual cost the lives of 149 innocent individuals. You know what's going to come out of that? Policy changes. I bet you'll be able to get in that cockpit. There'll be a release for that door. I bet there'll be mental evaluations when it comes to that. Well, wait a minute now. Y'all looking at me like, well, man, hey, Brother Coleman, we, we here to talk about Nicholas. What does that German flight from abroad got to do? Well, I'm here to tell you it's a lot of unstable individuals wearing a badge and wearing blue here in the United States of America. I'm here to tell you if you concentrate on sight evaluations, especially from war veterans, then you will prevent the taking down of black families like that one unstable individual took down that plane, and you will prevent the killing of thousands of black, brown, low-income people here in this country. So, brother Eric Holder, while you're on your way out, sister Lynch, while you're on your way in, yeah. Did y'all not hear the DOJ's report on Ferguson that was rampant with corruption and deceit? Well, I mean to tell you, Ferguson ain't unique. Cobb County got a dirty history. What did he just say? Come on back, boy. For those of y'all don't know, that's the acronym for when they get you in that jail system. Or when they shooting you down in the streets. So listen, this might seem outlandish to some, but if you want to follow that piece of paper called the Constitution that says we the people, I suggest that the federal government spend just as much time as they did in Ferguson on every PD here in this country. So before, so before I leave, economic boycott is strong. It's strong, but I'm here to send a message to the dirty brothers 
participating in that cold blue, that cold of silence. See, I work with Brother Attorney Davis. I work with a lot of other politicians, Reverend Sharpton, everybody, but I also go down in the gutter. And I'm here to tell law enforcement for every life you take right now, you are steadily building a coalition of brothers who were never coming together. Down on the south side, you got Crips and Bloods uniting, marching on Cascade. See, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And we in the south, so they know a little something about skinning cats. So as I take my seat, I stand here with my son. Mrs. Thomas said, do you want it to be your son next? I couldn't imagine. Oh, I couldn't even imagine. So take something back with you today. This ain't a stand for justice rally. This is an action rally. Voting is powerful. That's one way. Holding your elected officials accountable or one way. Holding your local ministers Accountable is another way. But how about holding yourself accountable? Justice for Ariston Waiters. Justice for Boom Kong Boom Savon. Justice for Kendrick Johnson. Justice for Kevin Davis. And three times, justice for Nick. Justice for Nick. Justice for Nick. Justice for Nick. All power to the people.